Well, hello everyone. It's been a couple of weeks since uh, you've heard my voice in one of these videos. Um, things have been kind of interesting. Um, I've been really busy, or I had been really busy, with a play or a show that I was involved in at the first part of this month that I just could not uh, get to the point where I would uh, have time to make a video. And I wanted to run an experiment in that time frame. And honestly, I noticed that the channel has managed itself pretty well in that time frame, despite the lack of uh, videos or other uploads. So I had been meaning to do something to this effect for a while and now seems about a good a time to do it. Um, I'm not leaving, but I am going to take a step back from what we've been doing or how we've been running the channel up until this point. Um, the first major change that you're going to see is we are going to be transitioning away from the daily uploads. Uh, it's not been as efficient or effective as I wanted it to be. Um, and there's kind of two different reasons for that. One, it's going to free up my time to pursue a couple of other endeavors of mine, which includes, but is not limited to, uh, a couple of different workplace responsibilities that I have. Um, I'm currently working on getting my real estate license to help with uh, the office job that I do. And that is going to require some additional time outside of my regular office hours, but will give me a little bit more uh, liberty with uh, my time and finances. So that will be fun for sure. Uh, the other thing is, is I have a couple of other endeavors that I'm taking on in different realms of uh, social media and things. And if that's something that I want to cross plug at some point, then you'll hear about it here. Now, what does that mean for us going forward? Well, starting next week, I hope to get back to doing uploads at least three days a week. And that currently is planned to be Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Um, we'll be moving away from the Ultimate Alliance stuff. Uh, the game is pretty well run its course, and I've touched about everything that I want to at this point, so I'll finish up the couple of video series that I have thought up and planned for that uh, game. And then um, we'll move on to some other things. Uh, I'm currently working on a couple of projects to actually play some of the precursing games in the series because uh, in case you didn't know or in case you weren't aware, uh, though I know a lot about Ultimate Alliance 3 and hold speedrun records and other things in that uh, game and I'm a moderator on the speedrun board for that, I actually haven't ever played the first two installments and I'd like to see what uh, brought us to the point that we're at now. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Now, if you're enjoying the Fall Guys uh, video playing that's going on in the background here, uh, let me know because I'm not opposed to doing more of this. This is actually um, the first win that I've ever had in a Fall Guys game, and a little bit of a spoiler for the end of the video. Um, but I played a little bit on console uh, on my PlayStation 4 and never actually got a win uh, back when it was initially released and was free to download on uh, PS Now. But but um, now that it's free cross-platform and I can play it on the PC where I'm a little bit more comfortable with the overall designs and uh, functions of the controls, I feel a lot more comfortable playing this way than I did with a controller. Um, so you'll see uh, that, or hopefully you'll see that if we keep doing these, I tend to perform a little bit better um, in this method than I would with a controller. Now, a couple of things that you'll want to keep an eye open for in the future is, well, um, I do plan on doing content for both the uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet games that come out later this year, in addition to uh, the Midnight Suns game, which we'll be releasing here in a couple of months. That should be something that's uh, pretty good as far as I'm aware. 
um, and I'm excited to see more games in the Marvel Pantheon. Uh, now, if you want to see other Marvel Tech property games that I um, have played or would not have played, but if you'd like to see me play other Marvel games, such as that Guardians of the Galaxy game that came out, um, then let me know, because that's definitely something that I uh, may take an interest in doing. Uh, or any other games in general. I'm open to trying a lot of newer types of games. Um, I've never been good at the first-person shooter variety, um, but if there's something that you're interested in seeing, as there are over a thousand of you, um, then let me know, as I am uh, eager to see what that uh, brings for us. So here, uh, we are into the final round of uh, this this game that we're playing. We've got some nice hexagon going on, and I uh, have some issues with this uh, general game or play style from time to time. But as you can see here, I am in a position where I am the tallest or the highest up uh, in my current level, so we're just going to take things nice and slow. Um, and fortunately, we uh, fell onto just the next uh, preceding layer and don't have a whole lot further to go here. Um, so, realistically, uh, if we are able to give this type of caution and forethought to the uh, many different uh, games that come in the future, then we may end up having uh, more wins and more victories. But uh, that's gonna be everything for today. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this little update video of where I've been and where I plan to go. And I really hope that you are open to come along for the ride as it's always scary to change how things go, but uh, sometimes it's necessary. Take care, everyone, and have a fantastic rest of your day.